So I go right to the kitchen, because I'm hungry. There's no food. They got nothing to pick on. I, I have become very concerned. You have to understand something about the way I grew up. I grew up in a house that was food everywhere. Every two feet, you just bumped in. I had a grandmother who lived in the basement just cranking out lasagna. It's like a lasagna factory in the basement. Food just kept coming up the stairs for no reason. There was meat hanging from the ceiling. There was a sauce room with a bunch of dates on masking tape. That's all this woman did was cook. My grandmother never had a job. She just cooked in the basement with a salmon-colored nightgown with her tits hanging out the side. <laughs> Didn't even use a spoon, just her hand. <laughs> Nylons up to the knee. Her fat foot shoved in a shoe. <laughs> Little white shoe with a strap with the fat trying to escape any part of the shoe. <laughs> My grandmother had so much sodium in her diet, she was constantly swollen. <laughs> there was no allergies back then. You just ate the bread and just dealt with the rash. Grandma didn't speak nothing, no English, nothing. She'd always come, you know, try to find me in the house. She'd go, que se peste, que... Se peste, ven acá, que te... Figue me, que me agaspeta, que de... Eh, teque, teque, you for you. It's a dime. 